Grand evening, grand evening. Oh my God, I, folks, I am so excited. This is the event that we call Grow Your Mind. And tonight you have some special, I mean, just warm, generous, like-hearted, like-minded, like-spirited people that are just going to pour into you and give you loads of valuable information that can, if you take action, impact your life. And what you learn, it's duplicatable, so you will be able to teach others because that's what Grow Your Mind is. We want to grow your mind. But my name is Troy Richardson. I am the CEO, sole proprietor of a veteran-owned health and wellness organization. I am a health advocate. And I'm your host for Grow Your Mind. And we do this the third Thursday of every month. And my two co-hosts, we have, number one, first of all, she has the best hair in Zoom, okay? <laughs> this is Miss Lori Weeks, my queen, my sister, Miss Lori Weeks. And then we have my guy, my brother, Mr. Henry Lee. Um, Lori's in the state of Georgia, and she's going to tell you a little bit about herself, and Henry is in the state of Ohio, and he will tell you a little bit about himself, but I just want to kick this off with ladies first, so Lori, welcome to the call, and just let the people know and feel who you are. Hey there, you guys. I have been looking forward to this call for so long. It's one of my uh, favorite calls that I have an opportunity to do, simply because it's just sharing my story about how fruits and vegetables really just impacted my life so greatly. You know, it was about three and a half years ago, I was introduced to whole food concentrates, a way to just put, just flood your body with fruits and vegetables in the form of a capsule or a gummy. And you guys, even though I tried to eat really well, I knew that I was not eating nearly enough fruits and vegetables on a consistent basis to really just take my health to where I wanted to. So when I had a conversation with my neighbor and she mentioned that she absolutely is getting in over like 50 plants in her body every single day, I was really curious and I asked her to share with me what she was doing. And she shared with me whole food concentrates you guys, I got started eating those every single day. And I'm gonna admit, I started eating the gummies. And the gummies really just made a difference for me, not only for me, but for my entire family. At that time, we had two kids at home and my husband and I, we were all eating whole food concentrates called Juice Plus and Omegas, which is fruits, vegetables, berries, and Omegas. And it was just a matter of weeks and we started seeing changes. You know, Troy, you already mentioned that I have some, you know, a lot of hair on my head. You know, that wasn't always the case. My hair has grown thicker every single month since starting on Juice Plus. In fact, a year and a half ago, I cut it all the way, you know, cut it short. Um, it's called, a, you know, a chop. I did the chop and it grew all the way back again. And that's something that I haven't experienced, you know, this kind of hair growth since my childhood. But you know what really made the difference to me? Not only just skin, hair, and nails, and better sleep, and better recovery from workouts, and you know, uh, my husband and I looking at each other and saying, oh my goodness, you know, we haven't had a cold in two years. What really stopped us in our tracks is when our daughter mentioned to us, she says, you know what? I haven't had to refill my inhaler in a couple of months now. Now you guys, this really did just make me stop and sit down and assess what was going on in my own household. Because since the age of about 11, our oldest daughter had chronic asthma. A cold would turn into just a lingering cold and a cough which would co turn into bronchitis, drop into her chest. It would also during um, you know, the change of season, oh my goodness, allergies. Um, to pollens and dogs and cats and birds and pillows. And, you know, sometimes we just couldn't even stay at a certain hotel because she would have a re reaction to it. 
Or if we were invited over someone's house and they had a dog or a cat, we had to turn around and leave. But it's this daughter that mentioned to me, mom, I haven't had to um, refill this prescription. Now at this time, she's about 23 years old and she is getting fruits and vegetables completely for free because that's part of the program with Juice Plus. When an adult orders, a child gets it for free. Even though she was in college, she was still eligible for free fruits and vegetables every single day. So here she is, about 23 years old, and she's saying to me for the first time in 10 years, I'm really not wedded to this inhaler. You guys, it was an inhaler, Flonase, a nebulizer, albuterol, Advair. You guys, the number just goes on and on. And I was calling us healthy. And I was thinking that we were managing her asthma and allergies. You guys, now we really were getting into this. And we really made sure we did not miss a day of our fruits and vegetables. And I'm so happy to say that one by one by one, she was eliminating her prescriptions. And so was everybody in the house. You know, it's really just, I'm so proud of the fact that I can say my husband and I are completely prescription free today. And that wasn't always the case. You guys, the reason that I tell you this is because when I started feeling the impact of what fruits and vegetables could do. Wow, I was like, I want to, let's go all the way in. Let's take this thing where we really know that we could just make even more changes. And that's when we were introduced to growing our own fruits and vegetables through the Tower Garden. And you guys, from the very beginning, it has been so much fun. Number one, I love it that my husband and I get to do it together. Um, it gets us outdoors in the sunshine. It just brings a lot of joy into our everyday. And you guys, it was so affordable. That's another thing that I liked. After we got one and we made 12 payments of $55 and that tower was completely paid for, you know what we did? We invested in ourselves and we purchased another. And then we did it again and we purchased another. And now today, just a few years later, um, we have a micro farm. This is the first season that I have changed our name. I used to call myself a, a patio farmer or a backyard farmer, but now I have upgraded my own title, my self-appointed. I am a micro farmer. So I'm really excited to show you guys what we have going on in just a little bit of space. Um, so is that something everybody would want to do? Take a look at the garden here. We've lost some of our sunlight, but I have a light that I hope does us justice. All right, it's nighttime, but on this patio right here, can you see what we have going on? You have caught us right as we are preparing for the spring growing. Okay, and so what I've done is one by one, I've taken every single tower and I've moved it from the back patio here one at a time and I've broken it all apart, washed it all out, which I do annually and I have it all set that I'm gonna add seedlings into this and be growing from each of these towers. So on this first tower, I have 36 growing spaces. On this, um, home tower, which I is the indoor tower unit, which stays here. And even though this is an outdoor space, this is an inside kind of growing space because it doesn't get full sun. So this one has 16 spots and also 16 spaces that you can put microgreens. This tower is gonna hold 28 plants. This one will hold 20 plants and 16 on the top. And we're also gonna put a support cage on this. Here's a picture of what I've grown in previous years on my inside tower. But you guys, I'm so excited that you all are gonna be taking part in seeing us take on the goals of having our own micro farm. So I wanna show you that all of the growing in all of the towers, minus one, is done in just this little bit of space back here. And here, up until yesterday, we had two towers growing um, all the way through the season. 
and now we are down to one. And so I want to show you what we're able to do year round. Okay. Um, and maybe even answer some questions about what grew well through um, the winter. So uh, cabbage did beautifully. We have celery and kale. Here's another type of spinach, another kale. Yes, these are edible pansies and I have been eating these pansies this year and they are absolutely delicious. Radicchio lettuce, this um, cilantro, we have chamomile. All of these are different types of kale and they are in the microgreen section. And we eat these leaves at this side because it packs like a big punch, a lot of nutrition in a little bit of, of a leaf. Over here, we have some more cabbage. Um, I've just started some onions. There's a new type of lettuce that I'm trying. I haven't tried it yet. Rosemary, thyme, all of our herbs are all in this. Just to really just give you an update, I know we're talking about having an opportunity to put these in schools. I just wanted to show you that right there, I've added a heater, like a fish tank heater to the, um, to the basin to keep the water just warm enough to warm the roots and the plants that I'm able to grow all year long. And here's some things that we just harvested because we did just take down that other tower earlier um, today. Here's some things that we've harvested today, like some Swiss chard and some more kale and some more celery. So I'm gonna make my way back up here. You guys, I'm, sorry, let me put down the light. Turn this around. So I think that's all we have. I just wanted to, mention some things that, um, some other things that you can grow in the winter, like cabbage, kale, cauliflower, onions, pansies, all types of lettuce do extremely well. Um, and I know this is a call for educators. And you guys, I had a wonderful opportunity to teach uh, 13 years. And I often think of what a blessing this would have been in our classroom and the countless use that I could have come up with. And teachers are just the most creative people in the world and what they would be able to do. But one thing that I often think of is if I had had an opportunity to purchase one of these tower gardeners as a, um, gardens as a teacher, I often think that I would use it, I am a businesswoman and a teacher, I would use it as an opportunity as a fundraiser. I mentioned earlier that the payments are about $55 a month. And I just think it would have been an awesome opportunity to really engage the students and the parents in some type of fundraising for the school. Maybe, um, you know, instead of the bake sales, the traditional, maybe we could have offered them like, you know, a school's farmer's market. I really love the fact that each tower um, purchase comes with a full set of lesson plans. That would have been such a blessing because a teacher's life is, you know, totally busy. Um, and then again, I wasn't given much space um, as a teacher, and this I can see how much I can do in just a little bit of space. You guys, I'm really looking forward to sharing this adventure of um, taking on micro farming with everybody. I'm really so grateful for your support. You guys, this is a wonderful community to take part in, and I really have to just give a shout out to this beautiful community because it has really helped me become a very successful gardener. And it's also just surrounded me with just education and insight and encouragement that I've been able to take our family's health just to the highest level. So you guys, thank you so much for letting me share tonight. Hey, Lori, thank you so much. I, I do have a question for you. Um, as far as your children who have grown up with this tower garden, what impact do you think it has had on them? You know, you can certainly share with your kids like the importance of eating fruits and vegetables and we all do our best to model that. You know, and you guys, I was a very um, conscious parent of giving them good, you know, fruits and vegetables. But you guys, I simply was not giving them enough to make a difference on their health. 
because both of my daughters, um, age 21 and 23, both had fantastic results with increasing um, their fruits and vegetables in their every day. So the impact that it has made is that now they have a great understanding at such an early age. They've cleaned up their eating and they also are tower owners and growers and they really do take on sharing what they've learned with their community. And I, I just couldn't ask for more. Thank you for that, Lori. And a little bit later, Lori, I just want you to, to tell the folks out there about the Healthy Family Starch Program for, for the children. But right now we're gonna get into Henry Lee. So Henry, welcome my brother. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you guys. Can you guys all hear me? Yes, sir. Awesome. All right. So before we dive into, um, you know, the work, inner workings of what a tower garden is, um, I wanted to show you a quick video um, of how we apply these to schools. So let's see here. Okay. Um, and Troy and Larry, it looks like we have got a couple of people in the waiting room. If we can, if you guys can admit them, it'd be great. Okay. I'm share my screen here. Yep. Um, oh, we got to take you guys off spotlight too. Spotlight. No, they're tired of seeing me. They don't want, they're not tired of seeing Lori. <laughs> Thanks, Troy. <laughs> okay. So this video here shows you our good friend, Dr. Steven Ritz, and how he is applying it to his classrooms. Oh, you know what? I need to share the audio with you. Hold on one second. There we go. My name is Stephen Ritz, and I am CEO, Chief Eternal Optimist of Bronx County. We're gonna actually grow our own lunch. We're going to grow our own food today. We're gonna go from sea to plate. A towel garden is like this plant, but you don't need soil. And then the water comes up, and then it comes down and rain on the roots. Adults think, you can't farm in the South Bronx. Tell it to these kids, they're farming. For so many, Food is the problem. Yet for all of us, food is a solution. We have some of the highest rates of juvenile diabetes and juvenile obesity in the nation. And we can change that. We absolutely have the power to change schools in this generation. I think I still see the seed. That, that happens. Exactly. You mean I can pass it around and they can see the seed absolutely. in the plant? My job is to teach kids how we can grow food. And I'm asking everyone to roll up their sleeves and get a little dirty and grow something greater. He lets us plant stuff like salad, cucumbers, tomatoes. My fourth and fifth graders came into a classroom with no windows to build a tower garden and literally turned it into a farm. And we talked about how healthy food builds healthy minds and healthy bodies and where are we doing it? Right here in school. So did everybody plant a seed? Yes! Yeah. Yeah! The excitement and the joy that these little kids feel putting a seed in the ground and watching it blossom. OMG, as they say, this is their moment. I think he cares about us a lot and he wants us to learn and have fun at the same time. I'm not a farmer, but I'm planting. I'm planting seeds. He always says that seeds are like people because they need love and they grow and grow and grow to be successful people. To use 21st century technology, to generate food and to create this beautiful thing to sit by that you can actually eat is game changing. It's empowering. They're growing. The plants are growing and they're responsible for it. And when they know they can grow their own, they really start changing the way they see their relationship to the world and their place in it. I love it. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay, we're gonna go back and then we're gonna get some. Henry, are you still there? Yep. Okay. Oh, I was muted. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Okay. So before we dive into um, the inner workings of like how it works and stuff, um, I want to go into uh, how we actually use it in the classroom. Um, so uh, just show of hands, how many of you are teachers? A little thumbs up if you're a teacher or you um, or connected with teachers. How's that? If you're connected with teachers. Okay, so I got a couple of hands up here. Um, so uh, my background, I used to be um, a teacher here in, in the classroom in Dublin City Schools. Um, I taught for 14 years, uh, anatomy and physiology, biology, chemistry, environmental sciences. Um, and uh, one of the concepts that I uh, used to hammer down was you are what you eat. Um, give me a little thumbs up. A little reaction on there if you uh, if you know what I mean if you've heard that before or maybe you've even said it yourself you are what you eat and um, we are um, in this habit of of hearing this cliche but do we really know what it means and so there's so many concepts that you can use in the classroom this is just one of the many um, you know my uh, this is not a picture of, of my classroom, but um, you may remember something that looks like this, um, whether you were in school five years ago, uh, 10 years ago, or 50 years ago. Um, unfortunately, the classroom is one of the things that has not really changed over time. Um, and uh, because of this day and age, uh, we've been forced to, uh, to adopt different uh, methods and different techniques and project-based learning. Um, but you might remember yourself being one of these disengaged students um, or you know pretending to sleep what if we could turn in your classroom into something that looks like this and so again the guy in the video that you saw here dr stephen ritz he's in the background and this is his classroom um, instead of desks uh, and students learning more on lecture based it's all hands-on. Um, it is project-based learning, and it's cross-curriculum within not just the science room, but um, it crosses over with uh, with your math, uh, with writing, uh, technology, special education, and uh, it's not just for high school. Um, it, all the way down to daycares and preschools, uh, to elementary schools, middle schools, all the way through college. Um, down here uh, near the Ohio State University, we have a partnership with uh, the, the college um, or the university and the uh, Columbus City Schools, along with a center called Urban Gems. Um, and they have uh, over 50 tower gardens uh, where the kids have internships or and they, and they earn stipends. They come in after school, they learn how to plant, maintain, harvest, sell. Um, and so they learn business techniques. Um, and they also go out into the community and teach the community the value of eating fresh produce. And so uh, there's all sorts of different challenges today. And, and one of the things that we love hearing is, um, you know, the community uh, out there speaking about how their kids are coming home and talking about over the dinner table. Um, you know, these are the uh, these are the fruits and vegetables that I uh, have been, been growing in the classroom. I didn't even know that kale existed or what arugula tasted like. Um, and we're also learning about sustainability concepts um, that farms used to look like this back in the day. And a healthy farm, unfortunately, um, if it's not uh, cared for properly with soil turnover and um, and you, you're uh, being careful about all the different uh, chemicals that you're 
throwing onto it, then you end up with desertification. And desertification isn't just uh, unique to the US, it's happening all over the world. So unfortunately, space is becoming a problem, soil is becoming a problem, um, and water um, in whether it's freezing cold temperatures or in the middle of the desert is also becoming a problem, all of which Tower Gardens um, has figured out solutions for. So instead of growing horizontally, why don't we grow vertically? And so you, what you saw today with Lori's uh, Tower Gardens, um, you can actually grow three times as fast in these vertical aeroponic systems. And we call it aeroponic because hydroponics means that roots sit in the water where aeroponics is the proprietary uh, mechanism. Uh, it uses NASA technology uh, back in the, uh, the 90s and early 2000s. Um, they were designing something that would shoot water up to the top and cascade the water down the center console. And you can see in this time lapse, I'm going to show you an active time lapse of what a four week process looks like on this next page here. So here we go. That was week one and week two. You can see all the squashes and types of flowering plants on the bottom. And at the end of the week four, you have uh, this shard growing, reaching to the top. Um, and um, it's not just limited to leafy greens, as you saw near the bottom. And we're going to show you all sorts of different um, uh, options that you can put in those tower gardens. And the kids can learn um, different textures and tastes and all sorts of different things. So on this next slide, you see this is um, the tower garden in my friend Denny's house. Um, and this on the picture on the left uh, is uh, two weeks in. And then less than two weeks later on the right, you can see the same tower garden, same produce. Um, and you can see the kale and the cabbage and the lettuces and uh, the shard on the right and the cilantro and the parsley just blowing up. And so you might be asking, how does it do that? Um, all this, uh, all these microgreens, um, all of the uh, different like strawberries at the top here, tomatoes and such, um, or if you just want to do salads like arugula and spinach and mustard greens. Um, well, the reason why it grows so quickly is because plants don't actually need soil. Plants don't need soil. Plants need the nutrients that are in the soil. So we can concentrate the nutrients in the basin. And as it shoots up to the top and cascades down the bottom, any of the water that is not absorbed through the roots gets recollected in that basin and it sh shoots right back up pretty much every eight minutes. Um, and so this next video shows you exactly how that cascade system works. Tower Garden's state-of-the-art aeroponic vertical garden system uses both water and air to produce more colorful, better tasting, and incredibly nutritious fruits, vegetables, and herbs. Tower Garden has a 20-gallon reservoir at its base that stores the Tower Tonic Nutrient Solution. Developed by experts in plant and human nutrition, Tower Tonic Mineral Blend enables superior plant growth and better nutrition from your Tower Garden produce. The process begins once the seedlings have been placed in your Tower Garden. Here they will be nourished with Tower Tonic Nutrient Solution. Inside the reservoir is a small, low-wattage submersible pump the pump pushes the nutrient solution up through the tower to the top. From there, the nutrient solution drips through the central tower using a special device that evenly cascades the solution over the exposed plant roots. On the journey down the tower, the nutrient solution feeds the roots and becomes highly oxygenated as it cascades gently down the reservoir. This process is continuous, providing fresh oxygen, water, and nutrients to the roots of the plants. This patented aeroponic process enables food crops to grow faster than they would in soil, so they can be harvested more often. And it makes Tower Garden the healthier, easier, smarter way to grow your produce. All right, so just to sum up what that video showed us, 
Um, it grows three times as fast. It uses it, it yields thirty percent more on average. Uses ninety eight percent less water, um, and because it grows vertical, it's ninety eight percent less space required. You can grow year round, which is super important as an educator because when students come into school um, around uh, the middle of August or beginning of September, and they're starting to learn about all these concepts of photosynthesis and sustainability and differences between animals and plant cells. By the time they start planting, it's gonna to be too cold in many states. So here in Ohio, our growing season is primarily over the summer when the kids are actually on summer break and they don't get to actually plant those seeds if it's outside until um, the springtime. And by then they only have about a month and a half left of school. So tower gardens, are actually versatile. You can play the, you can place them outside, or you can roll them inside of your classroom. So it's year round. Again, we said there's no soil, which also means there's no weeding or mulching. Um, most of the times, there's no bugs. If you do have bugs, there's plenty of solutions. For instance, you can see some marigolds on this guy here. Those deter aphids. Um, there's uh, there's completely safe. Um, uh, pesticides that you can use that are even edible uh, to get rid of different types of uh, pests, molds, uh, spores, and things like that. Uh, it uses a mineral tonic uh, that is a proprietary blend that is opt that optimizes the growth of the plants that you put in there. And you can purchase that through uh, Tower Gardens by Juice Plus. Um, it's completely uh, food grade plastic and safe for kids. Um, the lights even are indestructible or practically indestructible. Um, and so they are, they're LEDs, they don't warm up and it's uh, safe for pets as well. Um, if you've got dogs or cats that like to jump up on there um, and it will pay for itself. So you might be asking, okay, this is great technology. I can see how um, you can apply it in the classroom. Um, so let's get down to where does it go outside of the classroom? Because at the end of the day, um, if the kids know the formula for photosynthesis, that's great. They can pass the tests, but where does this hit home? And so um, give a little, uh, give a little thumbs up or hands up if you remember the lunches looking like this. I don't know about you, but this is what my school lunch used to look like. You have a a bagel pizza with uh, a bunch of cheese and maybe some leftover meat from the day before because they didn't use up all the meat from that burrito um, or the breakfast sausage. Um, they've got preserved, um, like preserved fruits that have the shelf life um, of a Twinkie. Um, and if they wanna be a little healthier, then um, they throw in some iceberg lettuce, which we all know doesn't have much nutrients. Um, and they pretend like this granola over here um, doesn't have the sugar that is inserted in. So instead of the lunches looking like this, what if your cafeteria looked like this and the kids um, were given fresh greens um, on a daily basis, access to that. And if they don't necessarily get it off the tower garden, at least they're exposed to it. So they know what it is. They become inquisitive and curious and ask. Um, and at the end of the day, remember it's you are what you eat. Um, there was a research project that was done by the Ohio State University and the, the University of Cornell. Um, and they found that the kids that eat, or sorry, the kids that um, grow their own food are five times Hello? more likely to yeah, eat it. Yeah, you want to Zoom? Yeah, I want to Zoom. Okay. Oh, what's up? Please mute your phone. Mute your phone, please. Thank you. Um, so... The research shows that it goes um, beyond just um, the, the knowledge or head knowledge. We know that your gut now is your second brain uh, because the microbiome, the good bacteria in your gut um, will actually um, thrive off of, of raw fruits and vegetables. And when they, when they replicate um, and grow, then they secrete different signals that go to the brain and tell the, the person who's eating these things, feed me more of that. And so, uh, you know, we are not just affecting uh, kids in the classroom. Um, they are taking this 
uh, this concept home and literally it changes the chemistry, the cravings in their bodies. Um, and that means that that's going to affect the way that they parent their kids and the way that they parent their grandkids. So it goes um, from generation to generation to generation. So our mission is not just to pass the test on Friday. Our mission is to empower teachers with tools that are going to give kids practical applications for the rest of their, um, the, their life and generations. And kids take it out to community centers. Kids will share it um, in their, in their uh, food pantries. Um, and they um, are given the tools to, to show how do you save money with that as well. Um, at our school, uh, the business department got involved and the kids were able uh, to calculate um, how much money can we make off of a six month yield of, uh, of produce on each tower garden. So you can see, um, this is just a, an example um, that was done. I think this one was somewhere in uh, maybe University of Mississippi. It says down at the bottom here. Um, these prices of the produce, these are just, conven uh, uh, just conventional produce. So it's not even organic prices. Um, and if you were to multiply how much uh, yield of arugula and peppers and uh, kale and eggplants and tomatoes and uh, et cetera, that you get off of a tower garden, which is um, going to be much healthier because you completely control what goes on there. You don't want any pesticides or herbicides. You do, don't put it on there. And you can see the cost if you add all that up, it ends up being just under $800 uh, worth of produce in a six month yield. Um, so uh, kids are, are wanting to get these in homes. And if parents ask, okay, so really what is this gonna cost me? Um, then uh, you can see the cost breakdown for that. Um, I invite you to get in touch with the person who invited you uh, to watch this recording or today's call. Um, and uh, they can explain the differences uh, between both of these models and which model fits your classroom um, and your school's needs best. On the left, there is a tower garden and home system. This is the new system that's only been available for about the last year. Um, and you can see down at the bottom, it's, it's a little smaller. Instead of the traditional 20 gallon tank, this one is a 13 gallon tank. It has a monitor, um, a little bob that tells you when to insert more water. And it's got microgreens uh, that are built into the top. Um, it does have lights on this picture because it's primarily used indoors, but again, it has wheels, so you can wheel it outside as well. The Tower Garden Flex, the Flex stands for flexible because you can put tomato cages, you can put extensions, you can put a microgreen uh, extension on top, and you can grow this thing not just one, two, three, four, five stacks tall of four plants each. So this picture here has 20 plants, but like you saw in Lori's examples, she's got a couple extensions on top of that. So you can go ahead and grow up to 11, 13 stacks. That's two stories high if you wanted to. Like they have in O'Hare Airport, you ever fly through Chicago, you can see them in, uh, in Terminal 2 on the second floor. Um, and they've got 26 tower gardens that the 68 restaurants split the produce. Um, so when you go to eat at Max and Irma's at O'Hare Airport, you're actually eating some of the produce off of our tower gardens. So when you order a tower garden for your school, it'll come everything um, in the basin um, as in this picture. You'll see that it has rock wool to put the seeds in, um, a, a little vermiculite to cover up the seeds so they don't spill out. Um, all the nutrient solutions, the pH indicators, um, uh, and the buffers in order to regulate that. Uh, and it's got the pump and timers. It's literally plant the seeds, transplant the seedlings, and turn it on. Turnkey is what we call it. And at the end of the day, this is what it looks like. And you just keep on harvesting it. Unlike if you were to buy any of this stuff at the grocery store, you eat it and it's gone. Here, you clip it off on the outside and you just let it grow back next week. So if you um, are anyone... Uh, like me or Troy or Lori, um, then one tower garden 
doesn't satisfy your needs, you might want to get three because you want to share it with your neighbors. And so we call this a family garden in your school. You can get something called um, the science uh, kit. And basically it gives you um, some extra um, add-ons to it at a discount um, if you get three of them. But if you want more than three, there are some schools, like we said, Columbus Public City Schools has over 50 of them. And so we call that either a community garden, that's 12, um, or a tower farm, like you can see in this picture. Uh, this picture is actually um, one of our greenhouses in, I think this is Scissor Tails in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, but I just actually came from uh, a couple tower farms out in Sedona, uh, Arizona, uh, just south of there uh, is True Gardens. Um, and they are, theirs looks very similar to this. Um, before that, I was out in Hawaii at Kona Farms, and I'm going to show you a couple pictures of those tower farms as well. And so uh, I opened up this link already to show you. Uh, this is a picture of the tower gardens that are currently in the U.S. Um, there's several over here in Europe, on Hawaii, down in Central America, even in Alaska. Um, and See if I can click this one right. I think it's this one that's sticking up. Yep, this one's O'Hare Airport. Um, so in O'Hare Airport, again, they've got 26 two-story tower gardens. Um, there's a couple tower garden uh, farms out here in, in Hawaii. Um, and on this next slide here, these are uh, examples of seedlings that you can purchase if you don't feel like growing from scratch. True Gardens. Um, is a, a huge greenhouse um, that they use a lot of this produce and uh, ship it into Phoenix because Phoenix is in the middle of the desert. They don't have much water there. And uh, I would encourage you to check out this page, truegardens.com. You can write that down or if someone wants to type that in the chat. There's two videos at the very bottom. They're both about 11 minutes long and they do a very good job of explaining um, what uh, the uh, what you've learned today? Um, so uh, I want to take you back to uh, this slide here, and let's see here. Um, this next slide shows you a couple other applications that the kids learned about. Thank you uh, for that. There are a. Um, there are plenty of tower gardens in places like assisted living um, in uh, firehouses. And so uh, instead of, uh, you know, your, your uh, Alzheimer, uh, Alzheimer's and dementia uh, residents, you know, trying, you know, looking at these, uh, these gardens and thinking, you know what, that was a favorite part of my pastime and I'm not physically capable of doing that anymore. Well, here's a solution. And our kids can actually um, explain how it's grown and they can participate in that. Of course, right now with our restrictions, um, with, uh, with the pandemic, that might uh, look a little different. Um, but once we uh, take care of um, you know, what's going around, then hopefully we'll get back to community centers. And you can see over here, this is Houston's fire department. And uh, there are tower gardens in uh, homeless shelters on top. Of, this is a rooftop of a homeless shelter uh, slash uh, food bank. Um, they have them in the White House uh, and communities all over the world. And so um, on that note, we just want to thank you uh, for uh, taking the time this evening uh, to learn a little bit more about this um, project-based learning. Um, and again, we encourage you to get back to the person who shared uh, this uh, presentation with you uh, so they can answer any questions that you have. But for now, I'm going to turn it back over to Troy and allow you guys to go ahead and unmute yourselves. Um, so if you do have any immediate questions for us, um, then you can get those answered right now. Hey, thank you, Henry. Thank you, Henry. Before we take questions, folks, I just want to share some of the products that we're referencing. You heard about the Tower Garden. Um, this is the inspiring healthy living community that we are all a part of and we live health. Can you guys see this? 
Okay. Yep. This is yes. this is the capsule of berries. Okay. You have a variety of 10 different berries in this bottle that you get in your body every day. The green one, this is the veggies. Another 10 of a variety of green vegetables every day. As my sister in the mission, Marla, would say, salad in a capsule. Unbelievable. And then the red one, this is the fruits, a variety of 10 different fruits that you could just pop in your mouth every day and get 10 fruits. And then this is my, this is my prize right here. This is the omegas, five different omegas you get in your body, all plant-based, none of that fish stuff, all plant-based, omega three, five, six, seven, and nine. Just incredible that you can get these things. Uh, the fruits, veggies, and berries come in capsules or they come in chewable forms. So you can get 30 fruits, vegetables, and berries every day in addition to the omegas. And then we have the fruit bars. They come in a honey, tart, cherry, and a chocolate fig, okay? And as you see, I, I'm a product of the product. I believe in it. Um, I personally take everything. This is the Dutch chocolate shake, which has turned into my favorite. We also have the French vanilla. And these are a pack of the chewables. Again, you get four in here, two fruits, two, two uh, veggies, and easy to take them on the go with you. For all those juicers out there, hey, if you want to juice, continue juicing. But if you want something that might be more affordable and more convenient for you, then I would encourage you to get back to the person who invited you and at least try this for four months. Speaking of four months, we have a whole food plant nutrition challenge going on right now. If um, you're a part of my Facebook page, you've seen that. I know Lori has it going on. Um, several of us have it going on where you just, you, you, it's a four month challenge, you, you register and it's a team effort. It's just a great program. Um, ask the person who invited you about that also. But I just want Lori, before we go and get questions, to just tell the folks, because this is critical. This is how much love that this company gives to the community and our children. Our most precious prize from God is our children. So Lori, if you could tell them about the uh, Healthy Family Starch Program. Absolutely, because it was definitely a game changer for our family. You know, I don't even know if we would have thought to include it, um, everyone in, or if we had thought to invest in all of the kids who, you know, they were away at college at that time. I would have thought, oh, sh you know, this will just wind up sitting on her shelf. But um, I'm so grateful to this company that they have such a heart that they want us to incre increase our fruits and vegetables every single day, growing our own and or in the form of a capsule or gummy that when an adult places an order of fruits and vegetables or fruits, vegetables and berries, or as you mentioned, Troy, the fruits, vegetables, berries, and the omegas, a child will get the fruit and vegetable completely free for four years. Isn't it amazing that my daughter had an opportunity in her last year of college to be introduced to Juice Plus, and now at 27, she still is getting free product. It is her last year, and I've let her know <laughs> she'll be taking over her own order soon. But Yes, from the age of four all the way into college, free product. That is that is amazing. I mean, the, the fact that they give it to the child for four years. I mean, for those of you who are going to McDonald's, you, you, what do you get when you get a Happy Meal? A little dollar toy? This company is giving you four years free of something good, salad, in a capsule that your child is going to get healthy and grow up healthy and end up having children and they're going to repeat the process. That's what you call the power of duplication right here, folks. So again, I wanna thank everyone and, and we can open it up to anyone have any questions, please. Um, 
raise your hand and, or, or uh, put it in the chat or unmute yourself. No carrier pigeons. Um, my, my pigeon coop is not working right now. So no carrier pigeons. I just want to say amazing call, great information. I'm already involved with Juice Plus. I'm on Sharon Hicks team and Juice Plus for life. Awesome. Thank you, brother. Thank you, King. Thank you, Troy. Reggie, it's great to see you on here. Um, I noticed Thank that you. there are some people who um, have indicated in the chat where they're from and who invited you. If you haven't done so, if you wouldn't mind doing that um, at this time, that'd be great. Just so we can uh, follow up with you and make sure that we can answer any questions that you have. That was a great presentation, you guys. Thanks, Ingrid. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. And I'm loving my tower garden. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah. It, it, it's something that just never stops giving. The gift of giving. <laughs> and, and who's more deserving than you, right? If, if hey. you don't take care of your own temple, how can you expect your kids to do the same? If, you're, right. if mom and dad aren't, aren't living that healthy lifestyle, um, they're, they're putting the Doritos in the pantry and, and whatever, um, how can you expect them to even have a chance at growing up healthy? So we, we owe it to our kids in the next generation for sure. And anyone we come into contact with, we want to educate them and, and give them the, uh, the, the empowerment to make better decisions. I think that's all we can do. So, but any other questions? Um, Henry, you have anything else to add? Lori, anything else to add? Yeah, really quick uh, before we stop the recording, um, we, uh, we have a couple of guests on here um, that actually host a Saturday night uh, call on Tower Gardens. We have the Hick sisters joining us tonight. And so um, I don't know if two of you want to say anything about um, Saturday evenings? Yes. Um, thank you for that, Henry. Amazing call, Troy, Lori, Henry. Um, someone did put in a chat about the gummies. I think it was Ingrid, how much she loves the gummies. Yes, the gummies are so good. I put them away from myself. Like, <laughs> I see you over there like this. Those gummies are delicious. And um, yes, yeah, Saturday at 8 p.m., we have a tower garden call and all are welcome. You can get with the person that invited you on this call to find out more information about that um, call. We have amazing guest speakers every Saturday and it's open to everyone. Yeah, again, thank you, Troy, Lori, and Henry, and Ingrid. Yes, put them gummies up. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Where you ain't you? never lied on the Thursday, Sharon, let me tell you. And for those of you who don't know, that is the uh, infamous half of the Hicks sisters. That's Sharon Hicks. She's a bona fide TV star. And, and I'm just so grateful that she even showed up here, you know, um, beside myself. But thank you, Sharon, for all, you, all that you guys do. And, and I know Marla's on here, too, part of that team. Um, so, Marla, thank you for your continued inspiration and energy. Litty, lit, lit. Appreciate you, Marla. Little, 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 Troy, you know we got a gummy page. It's called Eat Your Gummies on Facebook. Join us. Ooh. Okay, you heard it first. You heard Eat Your Gummies on Facebook. Eat your gummies. gummies are the truth. Now, 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 take a look at that page, but you get back to the person who invited you and get the gummies from them, okay? All right, we, we, try, to, we try to play fair here. You bet. Them right. gummies are addictive. Start yes, eating them, you can't stop. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. And they're better than Lay's. They're better than Lay's. Yep. Oh, yeah. Can't eat Absolutely. Just one. They're better can't than Mary eat Jane. Just one. It's so hard to just eat the four. Right? I just want to eat eight. I'm like, oh, I want some more. So, oh, if I'm around someone who's sneezing, I go, oh, I have to get some more gummies today. So. <laughs> 
Yes, yeah. Ingrid. However many come out the bag when I take it, I'm, that's how many I get. Yeah, that's They're stuck strategy. together and it's like eight. I'm like, oh, well, you know, well, maybe I won't eat. It, this is it for the day. Like, I'm telling you, whoever's not having those gummies when you put your capsule orders in, make sure you get that um, family health study that Lori spoke about. Yeah, I love so it. Nice. I thought I was the only one who was putting eight berry gummies in my mouth, but thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh -uh. Thank you. And, and folks, again, you can't OD on, on fruits and vegetables. You know, don't even worry about that. You, you might go to the bathroom a little bit more, but you won't go to the hospital. <laughs> That's about it. Hey, Troy, would you like to also mention the call you have on Saturday? We have Anthony yes, Morales please. on the line. Thank you. Thank you. I get so excited, Laura. You know, you know how it is. That's why, folks, you have to join this community to see what we're experiencing. But Saturday, yes, we have another Team Glory presentation, production, and it is called The Kingdom. And for all the men out there, this is going to be something that you have to be a part of and tune in and witness. And this is the kickoff for 2021, the kingdom. And we have some amazing men. One, which is on the line with us right now, my brother, my familiar, Mr. Anthony Morales. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Troy. Got you, I'm excited brother. for the call this weekend. You know, share some knowledge, some experiences. Uh, now, um, more now than ever, uh, our men, especially, you know, uh, men from our communities, they need to learn to take action in their health because usually we do not outlive our women. <laughs> we usually end 10, 15 years early. So that's that's a good point, man. Now now say something to the to the Hispanic uh family out there, bro. Oh, oh you caught me off guard with that one. <laughs> Come on, man. Just, just tell them to tune in Saturday. Man. Oh, tune in Saturdays. In Spanish, man. Oh. Well, it's bang bang is, bang 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 para la llamada de Kingdom. Vamos a tener mucha información sobre cómo crear su um, sembral, tener su granja y va a ser mucho, muy divertido y muy informativo. Nos vemos el sábado. ¿A qué hora? Uh, 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 New York. Two, dos de la tarde, two o'clock. Sí. PM Eastern, yes. Muy bien. I could have said that as well. I don't want Anthony to say that for you. Uh, uh, <laughs> if this I, is a I, phone I, call, what's the number? Can somebody type it in the chat? Give me a second. Where is it? Mm -hmm. the, the, the dial in number? Yeah, yeah. Get back to the person who invited you. We'll get it for you. Okay. <laughs> I guarantee. I don't even know it by heart. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get that to you. Oh, I got it. It's uh. Anybody ready? I'm ready. Nine seven six. No, that's the Zoom ID. She needs to dial in telephone. Oh, number. I don't know. Don't worry. I, 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 will, <laughs> I will make sure. Get back to the person who invited you. Or, uh, I, I'll make sure you get it. Okay. Make sure you get it. Find me on Facebook, Troy Richardson. Picture with me and my granddaughter on there. You can't miss me. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's the kingdom. But we got Anthony Morales. We have uh, two other kings. We have Johnny Grandison Jr. And then we have Mr. Daryl Blunt. So this is going to be an amazing, amazing call, amazing event. Just some great uh, synergy and energy that's going to be broadcasted through the Zoom airwaves. So, and also we got Friday, Friday night, um, the crown event with my sister, Queen uh, Lisa Michelle. And then right after coming up at 8.30, we got, whoo, Carla Joy. If you've never seen Carla Joy, you want to tune into her. So please get back to the person who invited you real quick. Tell them to get you the Mike Ewald event coming, at it, coming up at 8.30 with uh, Carla Joy, Coach Carla Joy. It's going to be phenomenal, phenomenal. Cool. Okay, I'm about to stop right. the recording. So thank you, guests. Anyone who want to stay on a little bit after, like we always have an after party. You know, yeah. you got to join, join the community for the after party. I'm just kidding. Guests, you can stay on too. <laughs>